Nas is completely off. This is the 12 terabyte drive. I gotta take this out. As you saw, I just pulled this from a working Synology NAS DS418. And I had a question that I can't find the answer uh, uh, on, which is how much data, if someone was to retrieve this without my knowledge, somebody came to my home and removed one of these drives and took it home, how much data can they retrieve from a NAS configuration um, on a PC without encryption, okay? Without encryption. Can they retrieve data from a drive by itself? Um, and how much data can they recover? So I'm gonna use uh, uh, this uh, disk program that I have, disk drill. It works very well. And I'm gonna see how much data I actually will be able to recover removing this from a NAS configured as SHR1 for drives. SHR1, this is one of the drives, and I just upgraded. And I want to see if someone took this, or if I just left this on a park bench or threw this away and somebody grabbed it and wanted to see what was on it. How much data can they recover? That's my question. So I'm going to put this on a docking station on my drive, run disk drill, and let you know if I recover any usable, readable data removing this from a NAS configuration or an SHR1 for drive configuration. Um, um, I, this is just more for curiosity's sake because I haven't seen anything online. I've seen recovering uh, data from a RAID configura configuration or a NAS where you take all the drives and put them together again and you rebuild the data. But I just want to know, can I get any data from this? If someone came to my home, removed this, took it home, what data is recoverable from just one drive from a four drive NAS SHR1 system without encryption. All right, uh, let me see what I can do. I'm a regular guy too. I'm not using any fancy software, just the docking, a hard drive docking, SATA hard drive docking state. Uh, um, I don't know, a uh, what's called a, uh, uh, a SATA hard drive dock. Uh, it's a two bay dock that you could do duplications and plugging in with the USB. This is how I usually recover data from other persons. Let me see how much data I can recover. I believe this can read 14 terabytes. Some of these are capped out at, uh, you know, they're unable to read large drives. I think, I haven't used this one in a while, but I think it does. Definitely can do up to, I think, 18 terabytes. All right, let's see what happens. All I'm looking to do is turn it on, see if I can actually just go in and get data, um, and then do, if I can't, I don't want to mess with the format or what I end up seeing on the computer on the disk management. Uh, so I don't ruin it. I want to see if I can actually recover any data. Like, you know, like I said, I want to do it like if I'm going to try my best to recover data to see how 
uh, you know, that um, just leaving these drives around still could be dangerous if it still has a lot of uh, private information on them. So let me see. I'm going to try my best, like if I was working for someone trying to retrieve their data. Um, so I'm not going to try to fail. I'm going to try to succeed. And um, I'll run this drill. And uh, if this management doesn't see it like a regular drive, because I think this is formatted, what's called BRTF or the NAS format. If it can't see it, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to run this uh, drill and see what it could recover with its original state. So I'm going to do a screenshot of what I am getting in regards to doing a disk drill recovery. I'm also going to show you on the computer management, disk management, what I see uh, when connecting this drive to my computer as a regular uh, external drive. Here are the screenshots. Oh, the video screenshots with no audio. So I am 96% done and I am recovering files according to this, which is not a good thing actually, because I wanted to see if, uh, I mean, it's good if you're looking to recover files, it's bad if you don't encrypt, I guess, your disk and um, you just run them regular like I am and someone, you know, undesirable person comes and uh, removes one and takes it can they recover data that's I was hoping I would that would not be possible but let's see what we get it is 98% done and this is the amount of data we have totally wow recovered you can see I had a lot of my pictures there and uh, again at the end I'm going to see what I can see so it's finished it found this many files. Wow. And over here it says that if uh, it found a 22.1 terabyte in files, but this is a 14 terabyte hard drive from a NAS. So I'm confused by that number there. Okay, so I am going to go through it. I don't want to show you what this is because the purpose of this is to keep my personal files uh, away from the eyes of the unknown. And um, here is, uh, I can collect more data by doing a, by scanning the entire disk. I thought it did that, but I guess it did a, a short version of it. Um, and it can take a lot longer. I don't think I need to do that. I'm going to go through everything and see if everything comes up 
um, regular files, like intact audio, video, and documents, and if they do, then that means that there is a risk on obtaining data from OneDrive from a four bay Synology NAS drive, not encrypted. Um, I think if you encrypt it, I think it would be different. Um, I just didn't want to do the encryption part. So let's, I'm gonna look through it and let you know what I find. So this is interesting. Under recovery chance, uh, here, hold on. You will see average and in some cases low. I have not been able to actually view anything that I recovered. I'm just getting these kind of thumbnails for pictures and the video, it says play, but nothing's happening so far. So I tried pictures, videos, audio, and documents. Now, documents themselves came up. A lot of them did come up. I found a lot of my documents in there. Um, maybe, uh, I'd say probably about 90% of the documents came up and what I was able to open. As for, um, um, pictures, videos, and audio. I got a lot what's called bit rot. So this is an example of one of the bit rot pictures. So I, I might even get half of the picture, but the rest of the picture will be, will look something like this. This also goes for the videos. The videos are distorted. They won't even play. Uh, they just say error, or they look like this when they play. So nothing's coming up correctly. So that's a good thing. Um, still though, the documents part, I didn't like that because that means that um, the documents may be recoverable on a single NAS drive from your NAS device. My biggest thing is, is once my data hits these hard drives, I am so paranoid about uh, people being able to recover personal data from my computers that it makes me nervous to actually send it back. So uh, this is just me. This is not advice or anything. I just never ever sent back a hard drive when it wasn't working, except for SSDs. Um, I feel more secure with SSD, but again, that's just me. That's just my opinion. I don't promote this for anyone. When you're dealing with hard drives, you're always running the risk when you send it back on someone being able to recover your data. Um, but, you know, we have a trust system, we have companies that we're supposed to trust and everything. But, you know, it's up to each person in, individually, and that's a choice you make. Um, I always get nervous. I just wanted to see if this would work. And it looks like the pictures and the videos, I couldn't get anything. Um, I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take to do a deeper scan. Um, to see if I can recover even better files, but all the pictures and videos uh, and audio that I recovered were unplayable. Uh, um, I'd say out of the pictures, um, about six came up. And out of the, I think I recovered about 1,200 of them, six <laughs> were viewable. Every single other one looked like this or some form of this. Uh, for the videos, I couldn't get any of them to play. I recovered about 20 of them. Couldn't get anything to come up. Um, and the audio, nothing played. About five or six audio uh, files, nothing. PDFs and documents, almost all of them came up. The majority of them did come up. Uh, documents that I had, uh, receipts, things like that, all came up. So that leaves me a little bit uh, wondering you know, can, uh, you know, that the data is recoverable on one NAS drive. Some data does get saved there complete. And that was my worry. So let me try the deep scan. So I started the deep scan this time, but I'm not going to uh, complete it. I'm actually going to just uh, give it about, uh, I don't know, 10 gigs, maybe more. And then I'm just gonna stop it and see what I can recover. It's already supposedly gotten, you know, 
look how many videos and pictures is obtained. Um, I'll end it and I'll see what I can recover from the deep scan. So I was more successful on the deep scan. I stopped it at about 25 gigs of recovery. And I got some pictures like this, but I've got to say it was at least half of them, I was able to recover them even better. So I don't know if I would have left it running, I would have gotten better results. Uh, the recovered ones that I got like this, when I ended the deep scan, or paused the deep scan, uh, half of them came out like this, but the other half uh, come, came out great, perfect. I could see the whole picture. Also, uh, videos also played so and documents came up so the deep scan did a much better job in recovering data so this tells me that if i take my 14 terabyte drive and i send it in for replacement or whatever have you um, there is the chance of people recovering data from my hard drive there's also the chance if you know um some nefarious person that comes to my home for whatever reason decides to steal one of my hard drives from my NAS, um, they can still recover data from it. So it's just something to keep in mind, uh, something just to, uh, you know, I was never really sure. Uh, I really don't like returning my hard drives. I try not to. I don't remember if I ever did. I may have, but um, they could you could run a risk of the data being recoverable, which is, you know, not a good thing, especially in this day and age. Um, I just did this <clears throat> with a, this docking station cost me like $30 on Amazon, and the distro was the most expensive uh, program that I bought. I think I paid like $30 for it. I love it. It works very well when people are in tough situations where their hard drive crashes, and I do this for them and recover their data. Uh, so the program itself works very well but again this is just my own video on um, my theory on what happens if someone had taken my 14 terabyte drive out of my NAS would they have been able to recover data from it on my on their computer and me acting like a regular user like I said with a $30 dock and a $30 program uh, and I was able to recover a lot of data. I didn't go all the way because I didn't want to do the deep scan, which probably would have taken uh, two, three, maybe four days. But I did do the regular basic scan, and I still recovered some, especially the documents. Were, there were uh, at least 90% of them were recoverable. So um, if you have a NAS and you don't have encryption on it, um, I guess this could happen. So it's a learning thing for me, for me. And now I confirm, yes, I can recover data if the drive is not encrypted. Uh, I don't um, usually encrypt the drive because it's accessed within my home. Um, so I, you know, take that chance. But you do, you know, this could happen. It's just something that I could see happening that... Um, I just wanted to be aware of and to share it with you guys. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Please ask them below. I'm not an expert, just a regular guy who tries things out and see what happens. Um, and if I can help you with any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I usually answer within a day or two. Um, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye now.